to welcome back to better better welcome back to the channel man welcome back listen man look look i love water yo focus there them listen i love water bro i love wet that's why they call me mr pro wet you know what i'm saying listen this video was on my trend but i was like bro this like i don't usually react to these vids you know what i'm saying because nobody ever really watches them but i'm just interested today i don't care i'm, I'm dropping anything bro because i'm in it like i'm actually interested like this ain't even no recommendation this is just because i'm actually interested okay this just says i invested the bermuda triangle ship crash man this, this bermuda triangle been swallowing up jump for the past shoot since way back in the day since the vikings they done swallowed them all you know what i'm saying you going out bermuda triangle you gone you know what i'm saying like it's just something off about that daggone place so I was like, man, I'm just, I'm just interested, man. I'm just, I just want to watch this vid. I was just like, shoot, I might just drop a reaction vid on it. Who knows? This junk could do a million views. Who knows? It might could do two views. Regardless, though, it's still on the platform, so it can blow up in five years, man. It can blow up in five years, man. Regardless, though, we're gonna check this thing out, man. Look, if you guys are new to the channel, man, hit that sub button. And uh, yeah, man, I'm, I'm watching this, bro, like strictly out of curiosity, man on top of a sunken ship in the middle of the Bermuda Triangle trying to figure out why boats, planes, and ships are that. rumored to sink, crash, and disappear here. But first, to get here, I had to fly to Bermuda via plane. All right, we're doing this. And everything oh, was going great until we hit unexpected turbulence. Thank you for your patience, and please remain seated with your seatbelt. Seat seat and y'all look around them. There ain't nobody on that plane. There ain't nobody on this plane. Shit, man. No joke, the triangle's not to be played with and we're playing with it. This must have just been 97 minutes straight of pure coincidental bad luck, right? We have 30 minutes left. There's a brother on the plane. 97 There's a minutes brother on the plane. Pure Hold coincidental now. bad luck. Man. And see, bro, the way, like, <clears throat> we got that dog, like, we got that that natural running instinct in us, bro. I know for a fact, bro, after he got off that plane, that head was shiny, dog. Cause he was sweating. I know he was sweating, bro. I know for a fact he was sweating with that bald head he got. I know he was. Right? We have 30 minutes left. Randy got for a safe landing. Or was it the Bermuda Triangle? Things were off to a suspicious start. The plane has landed. No plane crash. No casualties. Now, we need to investigate. We made it to Bermuda. Beautiful island looking thing. I don't care. I'm here to dispel one myth. Is the triangle real and is it deadly? After surviving my flight, I waved down a taxi and headed towards the dockyard to see if any local fishermen here here, I've seen anything unusual in the Triangle's waters. You know any fishermen? Of course I fish myself. But oh, I mean, really? Yeah, 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 yeah. But there are a lot of things in the water, especially in these days. Fishermen right there. That's the guy you want to talk to. How you guys doing? Uh, We're trying to see if this Bermuda Triangle myth is real or not. No, no, no. Bermuda Triangle ain't fake, bro. It ain't fake? No, you come around here and see some names. This is someone who mm. lost their life. Yeah. These are guys lost at sea. This is your guy's friend? Yes. What happened? Yeah. Uh, they got caught in bad weather. Well, they went fishing. Okay. Read it. They, ain't never... they got caught in bad weather when they went fishing. See, guys, when I had my boat, I made sure I don't play that. I don't, no, we don't, we don't play that over here. I made sure when I had my boat, I checked that weather every morning when I went out. You're not finna catch me in no daggone hurricane winds on the water, guys. Heck no. You trying to make it home, ain't you? Shoot. What happened? Yeah. Oh, they got caught in bad weather. So they went fishing. Okay. Read it. Yeah. They never returned. Never returned. What happened though? It's water caught him. Okay. The, 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 the mystic water. Actually, I ain't joking. Mistress. People go missing, dude. Never found nothing. I tell you, it's serious. Yeah. It's right, very serious. I lost my brother-in-law. Guy was so strong. He was up there fishing. They found him two miles away. It's yeah. Crazy. Boats, planes, ships. And everything I've been yeah. missing. You would say the Bermuda Triangle has some legitimacy. Yes, most definitely. It's real. Yeah? It's real. Okay. You get spooked out there? Of course. Yeah? All right. See you guys. Bye. After hearing from people who had lost loved ones to the Triangle Savagery, another taxi driver took me to a local monument where he said I'd understand how serious the locals treated the Triangle here. Making a little mini documentary on uh, the Bermuda Triangle. Well, whether you believe in it or not, I had a personal experience 10 miles off Bermuda and the weather changed in an instant. And we thought we were coming back to the island when we would end up going away from the island. Okay. And if it wasn't for some fishermen that were coming in, we would have ended up being lost at sea. So I believe that there's an energy force in certain parts of the world that is unexplained. Bermuda Triangle being one so, of them. So the evidence is there. And I've seen 
many things happen. Giant squid? Seeing that. Oh, could it have Seeing swallowed that. Oh, man. Sure. That's too much. There's only so much we know when it concerns the ocean. Think about it. How yeah. far can you go down? And then my taxi driver led me to a monument depicting a sunken ship that commemorated countless lives lost at sea over the last five centuries. 500 years of technological improvements and still people go missing in these waters. How? The Bermuda Triangle. Why? We don't know yet. So we're gonna find a captain and a boat, go into the water and see if there's anything compelling out there to prove why people keep disappearing. You guys are- Hey, long story short, if you don't want to go missing, bro, stay your at, at the hive. Stay away at the house. It, it's that simple, man. You know, it, you got to think, man. The Bermuda Triangle ain't going to pick you up at the house. It ain't like a taxi. The Bermuda Triangle ain't no Uber. If you stay at the house, it can possibly not get you. It, it, it could possibly not get you, you know, the... They don't say the Bermuda Triangle move on land. It's in the water. Captains? Yes. Okay, your name is? Dylan. Dylan, good to meet you. John. John. Let's do it. With a boat chartered, the question is, can I find any sunken ships or planes in the ocean? What do you know of the triangle, if anything? Is this real? So, definitely know for a fact that there's uh, what we call magnetic variation in Bermuda. Basically, the further away you get from the poles, the more that magnetic signal actually fluctuates. Which can make the difference between getting your boat home safely or dying at sea like a loser. And keep in mind, Bermuda is a place it's known for the weather to change quite quickly at times and it gets really really nasty out here okay. so that's a big part when it comes to why ships kind of why we believe a lot of ships have been missing um, I've seen derelict boats out there small sailing yachts uh, the biggest one I saw was actually bigger than this um, just floating out there no trace of people on board um, in fact a couple of them we saw names and looked up the names and those people have been missing for like six months some one boat have been drifting out there for almost 10 years it's not unheard of in very extreme cases the 100 foot swells um, a weather buoy during the perfect storm um, actually recorded a 105 foot swell what god cow like? 105 foot bro you know how big that is 105 foot swell so they was basically saying like the wave got so high it capped over the 100 foot high man and the perfect storm um actually recorded a 105 foot swell what animals out here might foot. kill us jellies portuguese man of war yeah it's the season where we're starting to see them drifting in they are oh, very evil man. giant squid have been seen around bermuda we've got well over 300 known shipwrecks around here and of that at least 100 of them are diveable either with uh free diving gear or with scuba gear all right we got the goggles we're gonna look at the larding tin balls deep any thoughts for me be safe yeah so they're so they in the bermuda the triangle right now all right yeah he going missing Alright, we found our first shipwreck. The Lardington's right there. You can see the boilers. What? How did this thing sink again? The Lardington? So, the Lardington was basically actually on her way from uh, Russia to Baltimore. Uh, General Cargo and uh, got hit by a rogue wave at sea. We understand it damaged her, her steering gear as well as cracked her stern open a bit. So, they tried to come here for repairs and they basically ran aground. And after inspecting this vessel, we headed towards our next ship crash known as the Montana Constellation. You can actually see a little bit of the shipwreck right there. Oh, That's one of them. The shipwreck, look! It's left oh, of her. That's cement? Yeah, yeah, that was our cargo on her deck. That is crazy. Yeah. Yeah. We're gonna try to use the drone real quick and then we're going in to look at the cement bag. But I know people had these uh fears called Thessalophobia, right? And so like what it is is like if somebody sees something underwater that's not supposed to be up underwater, like like if they see a building underwater, they'll start freaking out. Like they have panic attacks. I think that would have called Thessalophobia. You can look it up on YouTube, man. Some people freak out, man. You know, like you see a ship underwater. That shit's supposed to be on the water. It ain't supposed to be under the water. Somebody go up in that man, they just freak out. They probably couldn't even swim. That that's a cathocious. Until you don't this want that. Happens. That's a um, The drone cannot take off because the IMU is out a bunch of errors. Right now, the drone is saying that it's 160 feet below ground. Now it's 300 feet in the air. 197, eight to 41. It's straight it's tweaking out. The question was, did sunken ships like the Montana suffer similar technological errors like our drone right now? And with cargo from ancient ships everywhere you look, from ancient glass. So this would have been like a window pane or a glass door. To empty morphine bottles. One can only wonder what made this ship sink to the bottom like so many others. With every part of it, 
it, feet yeah. across from each other, he just, spread he just across the like ocean floor. Free. While these Man. ships were sunken deep enough to make you feel like your eyes are being squeezed out of your skull and your eardrums are exploding, the fact that it's only a 15-foot dive beneath you makes you wonder, what sunk these ships? A storm? A giant squid? An interdimensional black hole? A hundred-foot wave? And how did this legend grow to become a household name? I wondered. Captain, we've seen three shipwrecks. Where are we headed next? We're gonna head to uh, shipwreck number four that is historic and old, called the HMS Vixen. It's taken up out of the water right there is actually the bow of the ship. Oh, yo! Yeah. Where that? This, that's actually Interesting. If you look right below that, the two bollards, that's where you would tie lines to, everything like that. So you see the deck right there? Look at all those fish. Yeah, man. Can we swim in there? We could try, yeah. So that's the ramming portion right there. If I were to swim man, in- Man, y'all see that right there? Man. Well, us is my, you know, my sand color, we don't play that. I look at that on the boat, man going up in there. Yeah, you know, like, man, sharks and octopuses, sharks and octopussy, they love going in them things. They love going, they love living in them things, bro. I'm not finna go up in there, though. Me personally, not me. Can't do it. Can't do it. That's, that's not my cup of tea right there, man. Heck no, bro. Inside the ship itself, would I get tetanus, AIDS, HIV? More importantly, there used to be two eight-foot green moray eels that used to live inside of it. And if you've never seen the eels, oh, foot guy, cow. More importantly, there used to be two eight-foot green moray eels that used to live inside of it. And if you've never seen oh, eels before, eels are very territorial, and I've seen them bite people underwater. Ah. And look at him—he finna go up in there. Look, look, you, you see what I'm talking about, man? Get water in my eyes, man. Just a giant sunken ship behind me. And here's what it looks like on the inside. It's pretty surreal. And after stepping on an ancient sunken ship with my own two feet, Captain wanted to show me a few ships that had just wrecked in the last few years. So that bad boy's straight up upside down. So this is the Bermuda Triangle's most recent work. Yeah. As a captain, do you believe in the Bermuda Triangle myth? I do. The fishermen we talked to, I will say, they looked spooked in the eyes. They were probably a little drunk. If our second plane makes it back to America, I will believe officially the Bermuda Triangle is a myth. And after debunking the myth, I boarded my flight back to Miami and lived happily ever after. I made it to the airport, but the question is, do I make it over the ocean? Probably. One more flight to go and the myth is debunked. Oh, keep on playing. Uh, man, hey. Keep on playing if you wanna. Keep on playing if you wanna, man. I'm telling you, man. That ain't no good. That ain't no, <laughs> that ain't no good look right there, man. Anyways, man, I'm finna get up out of here, man. Like I said, I was just, I just wanted to check this out. If you guys didn't enjoy it, man, man, if you guys want me to see some, you guys want me to see some other junk, man, that's like creepy in this world, like exploring abandoned houses, something like that. I love that type of stuff. You guys just let me know, man. Just let me know. Link me what you want to see, and I'll just gladly watch it, man. On that, man, hey, it's people call a care. Can't to say, hit that sub button on your way out. 40K on the way. On that, man, peace out, bros. Love you guys.